Hi everyone, Dr. Cliff Favor here. And this week, I just wanted to talk about thyroid problems. Um, this is something a lot of groomers are looking for. Um, and and they, they figure that a lot of skin problems are associated with it. And that's a true statement. But I think there's a lot of misconceptions on that. So thyroid is a gland that controls the uh, metabolism of the skin. And, and when the thyroid becomes low, which is ha what happens with dogs, now cats actually go high then we start getting into hormonal problems and changes in the metabolism. So this is what I always refer to as a metabolic disease on that. So when that happens, typically on dogs, they are going to gain weight and they are going to get lethargic and they're going to tend to lose hair. Cats are kind of the opposite. They tend to eat like there's no tomorrow and they actually are losing weight, but they also will have some hair uh, conditions associated with it. Now, I'm going to speak a little bit more specifically about dogs because cats are a whole different uh, scenario on that. But a lot of times when you go in and have your thyroid checked on a dog, we're on the low normal on that. And realize that a low normal can actually be abnormal for that individual uh, case. So the general rule is if the thyroid's low and we're showing clinical signs, i.e. hair loss, weight gain, lethargy, then we need to consider this probably an issue on that. Unfortunately, a lot of veterinarians, and especially young veterinarians with not a lot of experience, will wait until it's totally outside the, the normal range. Um, and unfortunately, that a lot of times means the dogs have to suffer and go through uh, extra on the overall. Because we cannot grow that hair back or we cannot maintain that hair growth until we treat from uh, that thyroid issue from the inside. Now, a lot of times uh, we get a situation called youth thyroid. And youth thyroid basically says that if we have some type of disease or some other process going on, that the thyroid will go, go low. Now, here's gonna be one of Dr. Favor's opinions on this. I agree with that. But unfortunately, if it's low and it's creating clinical signs, a lot of times supplementation is helpful on that. Now the downfall of that and, the, and, and what the critics would say opposite of that is that once we start, we've got to stay on it for life. And that is true to a certain extent. I have backed them off and, and got them totally off in, in a, uh, those scenarios. But it is something that we need to um, consider when we, we uh, start our treatment plan on that. But Having said that, if our metabolism slow, it's hard for us to fight a lot of the diseases. So it makes it harder to move forward on that. So especially in skin conditions, if we're low, showing clinical signs, I recommend treatment. If you have any questions, realize that we do a lot of consultation. And I'll be honest with you, we read a lot of records that unfortunately I don't know that your, your veterinarian is doing you justice. And so if you want a second opinion, if you want to give a, a little bit of uh, more information, then you're always welcome to email us at info at isbusa.com. And, and I'm more than glad to take a look at the blood work and, and give you an opinion. Now, I, I, I can't practice medicine in everybody's state, but I can take a, a look at it. We can take a look at what's going on with your dog and we can make some suggestions accordingly. So hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to get a hold of us. Thanks a lot.